This former drug user knows firsthand just how dangerous fentanyl is. Kyle, who wants only his first name used, recently overdosed on the drug and came close to death. The experience scared him straight. You just don't know what you're going to get, and these things can happen. You, you can die. Now fentanyl, up to 100 times stronger than morphine, is being blamed for 16 reported overdoses in Vancouver on Sunday, six in just one hour, most from pink-tinted heroin believed cut with fentanyl. Vancouver's safe injection site is trying to get the word out. Staff had to save a user on its doorstep. 16 overdoses in a 24-hour period is highly unusual. Uh, it's got users scared. Scared for good reason. It's been in the news a lot this summer. This North Vancouver couple found dead in their home July 20th, followed by a 31-year-old man 11 days later. Then, August 1st, a 17-year-old victim who thought he was taking OxyContin. Instead, it was likely fentanyl. His family devastated. Extreme emotional, just breakdown. It's definitely a concern and it's a, a growing concern. Well, this well, health official says for whatever reason family, there's been a spike, heroin. the potent drug flooding the street and being cut with other drugs. People that are putting together these drugs are not necessarily um, chemists or uh, you know and, and so they're 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 making mistakes and it's people are dying because of it. In the West alone in 2014, there were 300 fatal overdoses in B.C., one quarter fentanyl related. In Alberta, 120 people died after ingesting the drug. In Saskatchewan, 10 fatalities. Now, this spike has prompted a warning from Canada's pharmacists. This really is a disaster that's right across Canada. We're seeing it in major communities from British Columbia out to the Maritimes. Health authorities and police hope both recreational and hard drug users heed the warnings. We need to get the message out that this is dangerous, um, it's toxic, and it can, it, cost, it can cost you your life. Kyle also has a message for the dealers lacing other drugs with fentanyl. You're killing people pretty much and you're profiting off of people's misery. Health authorities say they don't know how much fentanyl is out there or where it's coming from. They just hope the peak they're seeing now ends soon, before there are more deaths. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Vancouver.